Back to Brooklyn Center, Minnesota, where our Julio Rosas is there on the ground, and he reported gunshots not long ago. There has been unrest earlier today. Let's talk about the events unfolding there. We've got the founder of the Wounded Blue, retired police lieutenant uh, Randy Sutton, on the ground in Minneapolis. Townhall.com senior writer Julio Rosas and former Washington, D.C. police detective, Fox News contributor Ted Williams. Julio, I'll come back to you. If you can again assess for us what the situation has been like there on the ground, uh, again, with the fallout of another police-involved shooting of a young black man, it was fatal. What can you tell us? So it was tense all day, even when the protests were um, actually peaceful uh, earlier. But that quickly gave way as the, the night progressed to violence. Uh, uh, riders were throwing all sorts of projectiles at the officers. And so uh, that's why the police had to use tear gas, pepper balls, and flashbangs to disperse everybody. And it was at that point where a lot of looting in the nearby strip mall that's behind me uh, started to take place. And then they also decided to go uh, to other places. They said they were going to go to Best Buy, so they are going to go to Target. Uh, I don't know if they actually made it to those locations, but it was just a free-for-all, really. Uh, and it's just very, very similar scenes that I saw last year uh, when, when, I, when I was in the city. So we saw a lot of images over the last 24 hours of looting, uh, of unrest, of uh, people going to stores and doing things that had nothing to do with apparently the uh, death, the tragic death of Dante Wright. What can you tell us about efforts tonight? Uh, was there different policing? Was there intervention? Uh, or did the looting simply dry up and stop tonight? So, uh, as, as I said before, they were kind of, once they were kind of done with the strip mall, a lot of looters did leave. And like they said, they wanted to go to other places. But then, finally, the police came out from behind the fencing of the, uh, of the police building, and they were able to push people further and further away. And uh, they're, they're about two or three blocks further down to my, to my left over here. And the National Guard, uh, which has been on standby throughout the Chauvin trial, uh, is out here uh, uh, augmenting and reinforcing the, the local law enforcement. Uh, but so no, it, it, it has been a lot stronger crackdown that I've seen in, in previous times that I've been here.